all right guys welcome to day nine um we have made it pretty far in the last video we actually created our first menu bar or the top bar whatever you want to call it uh yeah and we created sub bars and it looks actually pretty good uh so today on day nine we are going to learn um how to actually make a message box when you click on this about us thing right now when we click on about us nothing is going to pop up so we are going to use a functionality of Kinter known as message box. So the first thing we have to do is actually import the uh, message box from uh, Kinter. So to do that, we we'll just write Kinter dot message box. And now we can use this message box uh, to show some kind of information to show errors or show some kind of warning. So what we are going to do is um, let's add a command over here. This is uh, basically the about us section. When we click on about us, we want to execute a function. So we'll just write a, um, just like we used to do it in buttons, we'll write command equal to, and then we'll write the function name over here. I'm just going to call it about underscore us. And after that, we'll just create that function. So let's call it function about underscore us. And inside this function, we are going to use the functionality of the message box. So what we'll do is, uh, it's pretty simple. We'll just write kinder dot message box dot show info. Now, instead of show info, you can also do like show error, show warning, which will show different kind of, uh, so this functionality of different kind of things. So if there is some kind of an error, you can show error, use the show error, or uh, maybe if there's some kind of warning, you can use show warning. I just need to show some information about this program that is the melody music player. So I'm just going to use show info and then it requires two parameters. The first parameter is actually the title of that window. So just to give you an example, I'm just going to write um, our title. And then inside the second parameter, you are just going to write the information that you want to give in the pop-up window. So I'm just going to write this is the information that we want. Um, yeah, that's it. All right, so let's uh, run this again. Let's first, oh, not this, this is the recording part. Let's actually close this first and then I'm just going to run this main.py file again. And now when we click on help and then I click on about us, it gives us a pop-up. It says our title because we have put our title as the first parameter and then this is the information that we want, the second parameter. So instead of this, uh, what we can also do is uh, change it to show error, just to show you what it's like. I'm, I'm not going to be using it, just to just show you what it's like. I'm going to reload it. Go to help about us, and you can see there is some kind of an error cross over here. That's the only difference between show info, show error, and show warning. So I'm just going to use um, show info, and instead of our title, I'm just going to write. Uh, melody about melody and uh, the information should be mm, okay let's see this is a music player built using uh, python uh, kinto by Arthrea. but by the way this is my uh, instagram uh, Instagram username. So if you guys want to follow me, this is the place you want to go. But anyways, so this is our uh, thing. We'll just reload it. Go to help. Go to about us. And as you can see, the information is there. The title is about melody and it says this is a music player, blah, 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 blah. Follow me on Atribat Instagram. All right. So this is working. All right. So this looks good. Our help about us section is working. Now what the second thing I want to implement for this quick video, this video is not going to be very big, right? Because the first two, the last two videos were like really, really big. So I want this video to be a little bit smaller. Uh, so I want to implement this exit for its functionality. So whenever you click an exit, it just goes away. So we'll just go to exit and over here in the command, we're going to write root dot destroy that's it without the brackets so what this is going to do is it's going to go to this root window and it's going to just destroy and delete everything all right so let's test this out let's reload it we'll go to file and when we click on exit our program actually quits and our uh, 
process is finished that is a program finish uh, finishing executing and a root window is destroyed all right guys this was it for day nine um hope you like the video i'll see you tomorrow on day 10